Hi everyone, this is Space Toad and welcome to this new Dromophilia video. Today I want to show to you some of the uh, changes that have happened on the interior of the bacteria design. I spent a lot of time uh, in previous videos on working on the exterior, the bacteria control, and now it's time to go back to the inside of the bacteria. And if you remember the previous videos, you'll notice that uh, things have changed quite a lot uh, since last time. Uh, I've changed the, um, how can I put it, the, 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 the algorithm that create the, the shapes uh, inside the bacteria, which allows to do this uh, kind of globular uh, structure that you can see here all around. Those are various different kind of proteins. Uh, one that did not exist before, I'm going to get closer to one of those, is this little um, bubble here. The role of those is to transform um, some molecule into others. Those are effectively uh, enzymes. This is a new kind of uh, protein on the inside. The other kind I wanted to show is the pump. I'm going to get closer here to one of those. Uh, all right, so the, the role of the pump is to effectively pump a um, molecule from the outside into the bacteria. Now, uh, those are new kind of proteins, uh, but uh, I've remeshed a number of existing ones already. Let me get close to some of those. Okay, well, this, for example, is a ribosome, and you can see like the, the two elements on the top one and the bottom one and the uh, RNA is going to go uh, in the middle. I hope to be able to show some of it later and oh here is um, a protein of um, what's my call it? It's a chaperonin so it's a protein that is going to take um, a strand of polypeptide and is going to fold it to create sort, sort of a precursor protein that when you assemble them is going to get larger elements. Uh, I think that with regards to the inside, oh no, the last one I wanted to show, uh, the big one over there, um, let me get closer to it, here we go. Uh, this is uh, a new version of the lysosome that was before too, so you see it's kind of a a larger molecule moving all over the place. This is a bag of uh, enzymes that degrade and destroys all kind of molecules. Uh, the shape of DNA has changed as well. Uh, the, in, in the previous example, in the previous design, it was a sort of a super coil DNA structure, which is not the way a bacterial DNA looks like. Uh, bacterial DNA looks like um, sort of a ring that gets folded into various ways. Uh, and now this is much closer to the actual reality. And you can see that the um, highlight of genes that we had before has slightly changed. It's kind of this uh, watery effect now, uh, but it's still sort of a transparent tube uh, around DNA that highlights uh, a specific gene. Uh, the design for RNA polymerase has evolved as well. Uh, we're seeing here uh, one of those molecules which is effectively reading a gene and creating a strand of um, DNA. Oh, RNA, sorry. And oh, I'm going to go fast here just to show the uh, so polypeptide entering this. Um, so I just wanted to show the animation. Uh, here we go. We fold the polypeptide, and uh, once the folding is over, uh, the cap is going to open again, and we are going to get uh, hopefully a nice precursor of uh, a larger protein. Okay, just wait for it. Here we go, and uh, normally we should get. Uh, something out. So here we are. That uh, little precursor is going to get uh, somewhere and if we are lucky, let's, let's, follow, let's follow
wait to see how it goes. Uh, I believe this is for an enzyme. So if you get two of those, uh, then they will uh, kind of merge one into the other and then uh, create an actual functional enzyme. Um, just trying to see if it's worthwhile waiting for it to finish its course or if it's better for you just to take my uh, word for it. Those are rather slow. Maybe at some point it makes sense to accelerate them a bit. Uh, let's carry on. Uh, we can actually look at uh, the animation here while we wait for this molecule to get somewhere. So that's, again, the ribosome uh, translating this strand of uh, DNA, RNA, sorry. You can see here that it uh, created this little uh, strand of polypeptide, which is going to get translated into, uh, or rather folded, into the um, uh, chaperone in me. Uh, Anyway, I think that's uh, I think that is that's that's pretty much it for now. Uh, you see here in the background uh, another molecule of RNA polymerase creating uh, an RNA strand. Um, is, oh, I think this is targeting this molecule over there. Let me get closer. I'm seeing here. Uh, you see there's a oh, interesting okay well there's a bug here uh, which I wasn't aware of up until right now which I will fix uh, you see this is um, here uh, an enzyme that's not created yet uh, it's still waiting to be completed by uh, another one of these little guys but the animation the particle animation for the enzyme work and the enzyme reaction is already uh, active which really I should be fixing now let's see okay let's see if this works uh, I've actually never seen live uh, an enzyme being assembled so uh, it'd be interesting to see if that works uh, okay and here we go, boom. And that creates uh, an actual enzyme ready to do the um, molecule transformation. You see here in the background, uh, RNA strand finishes work, so getting to the um, lysosome to be recycled. Uh, here's another one. Anyway, that's, that's about it for now. So this was a short video showing where I am in terms of the design of the inside of the bacteria. I guess the next step now uh, will be to introduce some gameplay in this environment. Um, we've got several ideas. One idea would be to have you maybe um, take over a special molecule, maybe call it a prion or something, and go into a foreign bacteria and steal some of the genetic material. So I need to introduce some more uh, proteins which will defend the bacteria, so which will attack you as an intruder uh, and design uh, what's going to uh, allow you to get in and to uh, go through stealing um, a few genes. Anyway, that's it for now. That was uh, Dromophilia, sort of a status update on the current development. Thanks for having watched this video. I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.